Stop it, Mason. Stop, Stop it, boy. Let me kiss him right there. Right, <laughs> So hey you guys, today we are jumping on because we have been thinking about what we want our boys to learn. Right. With that said, Jackson is now seven, Mason is five, he's getting ready to go to kindergarten, and you both, you already know how fast time goes by. You know, before you know it, they'll be getting married, they'll have their own families. Um, you know, for, for a while there, we thought kindergarten seemed like far away for Mason. But sure enough, he's getting ready to go there in the fall. He's excited, he's nervous. Um, they're both very sweet kids, but they're very different as well. Oh, yeah. um, and so we just want to make sure that we give them a very solid foundation so that when they go out into the world, you know, they'll be ready. Um, we can we can do a lot for them while they are here with us while they're growing up um, We want to again share very important things with them We want to be supportive for them and so we look forward to sharing you you know the things that we want them to hopefully uh, Incorporate into their lives as yeah. they get older. Hey, you, you remember when uh, Jackson first started kindergarten? Wasn't it so cute? It was very sweet and sad so first off, uh, I just want to list a few things that we really, really want to install in them as they're young. And uh, just, just really first before anything is putting God first, uh, making sure that they know who he is and when they're in need and when they have problems and they're in trouble, they know who to call. And even when they're happy and glad, you know, we want them to be able to count on him and be able to give him acknowledgement. Very true. And to add to that, I would also say, you know, knowing God and having a relationship with Him will make them a better friend, it'll make them a better husband, and a better father when they get to that stage in their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the first thing I would want to instill in them, in, you know, after, of course, God, would be to laugh often. Um, life is way too short, you guys, to be serious all the time, you know. No. Why so serious? You know, it's just nothing is that serious, you know. So, you know, just, just seeing the positive of everything um, is definitely, and to be able to laugh when you mess up, you know, and just keep going. Never give up. It's another one. So, the next thing I want them to learn is how to treat a lady. <laughs> No, nah, but it's serious, man. I mean, chivalry is not dead. And, um, you know, you got to open those doors. You got to, you know, smile at them, tell them they're beautiful, and uh, do all those good things to keep a marriage strong, you know, and relationships strong. And, uh, you know, God gave us women, and we got to take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I agree with that one, too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing I would want to teach them is, you know, how to help someone in need if they see someone who looks like you know they're struggling maybe they don't have to always help them with money but certainly they can give them an encouraging word they can be there for them they can be good listeners okay. so the next thing I would want to teach them is you know if if there's something they don't want other people to know about then they just ought to not do it to begin with because the truth always comes out in the end you guys so you know, uh, just today the pastor was talking about soil tight and really not not to harden your heart. Mm -hmm. And so really, you know, I just want them to be gentle souls in order to, you know, be loving and giving and, and thoughtful. Like Anita was saying, you know, being charitable and uh, just being able to, you know, give to those that are in need and, and having the right heart to do so. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, I also want to teach them how to cook and to clean up after themselves. Mm -hmm. I know they're guys, right? But I don't want them to scare ladies away or to scare me away or whatever, you know, just having, you know, friends and family over. I want them to know how to be self-sufficient. Yeah, you know? yeah. I want them to be independent, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. And they got to learn how to tie their shoe, too. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they, they definitely need those skills. I want to teach them how to cut the grass, you know, because dad don't want to cut the grass all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being able to do some of those fundamental things that's going to allow them to be structured in life, you know, those key skills and getting out responsibility is what they need as men, you know. And even if we had a little baby girl, you know, they're going to need, you know, similar responsibilities, you know, in their, in their lane or what they want to do. 
Yeah. Although we don't have a girl, we don't have any plans for that. Yeah, season. no girls, no girls. Right um, <laughs> so also, Jackson is already in Taekwondo, um, but I definitely want to encourage them to be involved in sports because I think that there is a lot that they can learn from from being a team player and, you know, once they learn how to become good leaders so they can be a team player and a coach. I think that, you know, those are valuable lessons for anybody to have, you know. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see, uh, taking care of family. Mm -hmm. uh, family is important. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we got family a little bit of everywhere right now, but, you know, in being able to take care of uh, the ones they love most mm -hmm. is, essential to life because in the end of the day they're always going to be there for you you know through the thick and the thin family's going to be there and they need to know that and being able to show them love so they can receive love right and so along those lines too i would also want to teach them you know that not everybody will like them they won't you won't always feel accepted but to know that god loves you and again that he made you perfect um, you're fearfully, wonderfully made, that right. your parents love you, that your family loves you. Right. It, I mean, we can't, you just can't be for everybody. But for the ones that, you know, do appreciate and value who you are for you, it is definitely a powerful lesson I want them to know. And you know what, I'm thinking, now that you say that, I'm thinking about saving some money. Yeah, it's a really they, good They They gotta be good stewards, mm -hmm. you know, being able to you know, keep a dollar in their bank account, keep a dollar in their wallet, or, you know, when they get ready to go out, they got something to spend, you know. You know, in the case of an emergency or just having a good time, they should have a, a penny or something, you know, right. to be able to, you know, have in, that, in, in the case of need. Right, I also wanna teach them the importance of prioritizing, right? Because I know, you know, it's easy to kind of be all over the place with certain things, but I want them to know how to deal with the things that are most important first, you know, right. um, you know, be it school, you know, for them right now, or be it, you know, work later. Of course, always putting God first, but then putting the things, the responsibilities second versus the things that, you know, they, they enjoy or play time or whatever, having right. you hanging out with friends and that kind of thing. So definitely teaching them to prioritize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that do their parents very well sometimes. Go to bed at night, get your rest, because you need it. Uh huh. What else? So I want to teach them how to pray, how to really, really get to know God for themselves, how to trust Him, you know, um, how to rely on Him. Because once they have their own relationship with Him, uh, I think that they'll then be able to feel fulfilled and know the purpose that God has for them. Yeah. Right. Right. And like with doing that, you know, I want them to be able to listen, you know, listen to other people's concerns, other people's needs and uh, being able to receive it and, and not only receive it, but take action on it. You know, sometimes people are crying out to you and uh, you really need to be have that receptive ear, you know, to be able to give as well as receive. Um, so, yes, yes, that's that's what I want them to learn. Uh, I just want them to be good boys in the end. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I want them to be good boys no matter how they come out. You know, I want them to be good internally. You know, sweet, kind, and lovable. You know, no matter what. You know, we're going to do all we can as parents, you know, to install in them all the good that we know how and we learn how. You know, and, and you know, <laughs> What was that show? They said, you know, this is our first time too. Yeah, you know? yeah for sure. And, uh, we, Never been parents before. Yeah. So, you know, it's all a journey. It's yeah. a journey for all of us, is what yeah. I mean to say. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, there's a lot, uh, obviously, that we do want to teach them. But like Brandon said, you know, it's about just teaching them right from wrong and teaching them to be good versus bad. And yeah, um, Lord knows we wish we could stop Father Clock because sometimes it goes by way too fast. But we are excited about seeing the the men that they will become. Yeah. And we look forward to hearing what you plan to teach your kids too. So definitely feel free to share those with us in the comments below. Yeah, I mean, we see a ton of y'all families on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We see y'all on Facebook. You know, just if you know other people with great families, shoot, have them come along too and join this ride, you know, as we share our experiences. So if you like the video, like it, 
Uh, if you uh, got any comments, comment, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, subscribe. You know, we plan on doing this quite often mm -hmm. and we want to share all the experiences right. and the journey along the way. So, uh, peace. Peace. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. Kiss. <laughs> Just for the camera. Just for them. Ah. Next, uh, I just want them to be positive people. I already yeah. said that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Was I not listening? Basically. <laughs> you just said that? Yeah.